गाइस दिस इज नथिंग बट डेटा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इंटरनेट रिलेशन डाउट इज इन अ सिंगल सेकंड लेट्स बिगिन सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज इंटरनेट कंजेशन बाय टेकिंग एन एग्जांपल ऑफ रोड कंजेशन Let's assume when loads of vehicle are moving on the road very fastly and overtaking each other to reach their destination faster. Sometimes this result in traffic jam. This condition is known as road congestion. Just like in road congestion, network congestion occurs when network fails to handle traffic adequately and efficiently. Network congestion in data networking and queuing theory is the reduced quality of service that occurs when a network node or link is carrying more data than it can handle. Typical effects include queuing delay, packet loss or the blocking of new connections. So let's understand what are the causes of network congestion. The first one is oversubscription. Too many hosts in a broadcast domain can create a network congestion. the cause is network overload as too many devices are requesting network access at same time the second one is broadcast storms it is a situation where there are unexpectedly too many requests on network in this moment the network does not have the ability to process all the requests at once example the result day of class 10th and 12th boards on the declaration day of class 10th and 12th board results there is too much traffic on the websites because too many people are searching for the results on the internet that causes broadcast storms the next one is low bandwidth bandwidth is the size of pipe in which the internet data can through travel through if the pipe is not large enough for all the traffic to move through at once there becomes congestion so the last one is outdated hardware data transmitted through outdated switches routers servers and internet exchange can cause bottlenecks the result is again network congestion so let's see the effects of network congestion the first one is delay also known as latency delay is the time it takes for destination to receive the packet sent by the sender For example, the time it takes for a web page to load is a result of how long it takes for the packets from the web server to get to the client. Another evidence of delay is the buffering you experience when watching a video, say on a YouTube. The next one is packet loss. While packets may take a while to get to their destination, packet loss is an even more negative effect of network congestion. This is especially troubling for applications like voice over IP that do not deal well with delay and packet loss resulting in dropped calls and call detail records lag robotic voices and so on timeouts network congestion can also result in timeouts in various applications since most connections will not stay up indefinitely waiting for packet to arrive this can result in lost connections Let's see how to decongest the network. For oversubscribed link, you may need to purchase more bandwidth from a service provider. Overutilized devices may need to be swapped out. Alternatively, the capacity of the system can be increased by implementing high availability features such as clustering and stacking. Faulty devices definitely need to be replaced. In some cases, only a part of devices needs to be replaced. So let's see what are the take throughs. In this presentation, we have discussed network congestion and how it affects your user experience. We have seen how causes such as over subscription, outdated hardware, broadcast storm, low bandwidth, and faulty devices can result in network congestion. We have also discussed the effects of network congestion, including generally poor user experience. packet loss and timed out connection finally we have highlighted some things that can be done to fix these issues so that's it for now thank you and have a nice day and do subscribe my channel if you haven't done till now for more update stay tuned in